Hi everyone, welcome to my North Mid Corner. My name is Anne and I come to you from the south of Norway where I live with my husband and our three boys. This is my little corner of the internet where I talk about knitting and yarn. Welcome back if you have been here before and welcome if you are here for the first time. I hope you will enjoy the content here. Uh, today I will talk about my knits from 2023 uh, and um, there was when I was looking at Revelry yesterday it says that I have been knitting 119 different projects or different things <laughs> so um, I won't talk about every one of them because then we would be here all day and all night and uh, yeah <laughs> but I want to show you uh, the sweaters that I knit for myself last year and then I want to make a separate episode about all my summer knits because I had a lot of summer knits as well uh, I can of course make an episode about uh, accessories like socks and hats uh, but let me know if you want to see them as well. And before I um, start going through this pile beside me, uh, I just want to wish you all a happy new year. This is my first episode in 2024. So um, I uh, just want to wish you all a happy new year. I hope you had a great holiday, great Christmas and that uh, you are ready for 2024 and I hope it will be a good year for all of us. I have a note here because I just uh, wrote down uh, the different things that I have been knitting in 2023 and just a uh, disclaimer I have a lot of knitting time uh, I don't work so um, that's why there is a lot so I don't want anyone to feel any pressure this is just the amount of time that I have to knit and that's why it's so much but if you have a job and with a family and everything I understand that not everyone has the possibility to spend all that time knitting so um, this is just what I've been knitting if you have knitted more or you have knitted less that's perfect because that's just right for you so uh, just don't want anyone to feel any pressure or feel bad in any way because that's not my intent I just want to show you what I've been knitting maybe you can find some inspiration or some ideas uh, that's my hope uh, and I will just tell you how I feel about the things that I've knitted. Do I like them? Have I used them? Have, them, have they held up? And um, things like that. So I hope you will join me for that. Um, but my note here says that I have been knitted nine. I have knitted 19 sweaters. That's uh, included a sweater for my husband and one for my old son and also a gift and uh, I knitted one dress four cardigans <laughs> 16 summer tees or tops one shorts uh, 25 hats 17 socks one pair of mittens and actually I was so surprised that I knitted 25 hats and 17 pairs of socks that's much more than I thought I knitted seven shawls or cowls uh, and I have knitted what I've called home um, like yeah, Christmas ornaments, dishcloths, um, stuff like that and I've knitted 22 home things, <laughs> one baby romper, two vests and two headbands. So, there was quite a lot of knitting in 2023. Okay, let's get started on my sweaters from 2023. 
I have some notes here because uh, there's a lot of things to talk about and I don't remember everything, but I'll try to look at them as little as possible. But the first thing that I'm wearing is the Shifty by Andrea Maori. Uh, this was one of the first sweaters that I finished in 2023. I knitted the size two with my gauge. So if you have been here before, you know, I struggle a lot with gauge. Uh, and I never, almost never hit the gauge intended in the pattern. So that happened with this as well. So even though I knitted size two, it's probably not size two if we do the measurements. But it fits me really well. I knitted in Röma Finul in a color beige. I will write things uh, with the colors and everything on the side here. Uh, but uh, yeah. It's a Röma Finul and a hand spun yarn from Brie in Dudelberg Yarn Co, which is really special. I That was my first time knitting with um, hand spun and I really enjoyed it. And the yellow here is from uh, a Norwegian hand dyer called Stulenstrik. And I am really happy with this sweater. I don't wear it a lot. It's very, very warm. Uh, and um, there's no reason that I haven't used it a lot, but um, when I wear it, I really like it. Uh, but it's just not something that I take out of my wardrobe very often. I have no special reason for that. Maybe because I don't feel it's very versatile. Um, it is a bit. Not crazy, but with the yellow pop, it's maybe a bit more. Mm, yeah, I don't know. A, a bit more crazy than I would maybe normally wear. <laughs> but I do love it. When I wear it, I love it. So I have to use this more. And it's comfortable to wear. And I, I think it looks good on me. My next finished garment in uh, 2023 was the Lace and Fade Boxy by Hohi Locatelli. Uh, and I needed the size one again with gauge issues. So it is bigger than intended. It's a lot of positive ease, which is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a lot of positive ease. Uh, and it's a very boxy fit. Uh, I knitted this in um, hand dyed yarn that I had in my stash. I had different uh, one single uh, skeins of uh, or single skeins of hand dyed yarn and I really wanted to use them and I saw the lace and fade boxy pop up in different podcasters um, war rope and uh, I wanted to try and knit it so I put together some of those uh, single skeins that I have and I knitted this the top color is from a Norwegian hand dyer called Kvitlamme uh, and they are they are all Norwegian hand dyers by the way the mohair is from Garn Boutique in Fortuna that was a Christmas surprise uh, skein one year that I gave to myself <laughs> and then the, the white one with the green and the golden one is um it's the lina in it so it sparkles and it's from mrs fox yarn uh, i have only used this sweater once in a year <laughs> and the reason for that is that i think it's just way too big i think this looks like a cape so I, I don't like how it looks on me because it's just way too big. Um, I love it. I love how it looks. I love the colors together. I love the lace. I, I think it's gorgeous, but I just, I can't wear it. it it's just too big on me. I think <laughs> so because this is yeah, too much. Uh, so I'm knitting. A lace and fade boxy right now uh, and I, uh, I'm knitting in the size one but I heavily mod modified the uh, stitch count and I took away um, 
a lot of stitches to try and get a better fit for me i'm crossing my fingers that it will be good i don't think it will be as nice as this in uh, the colors and everything i like the colors but i i don't know i think it's the mohair in this one i really love so yeah that's a bit sad i have to try and give this away to someone else who can love it and uh, treasure it because I think it's very nice and beautiful <laughs> but it's just not for me so i watched an episode with the, an italian knitter uh, last year and she showed a couple of or uh, two yarns in beautiful colors that she was combining it was drops flora in the color misty forest and uh, drops kid silk in the color north sea and i just fell in love with the colors so I immediately <laughs> bought a sweater quantity in uh, in the colors and uh, then I had to find a sweater for it and I also had seen many podcasters knitting the Daily Pullover by Paula Pereira and I really loved this uh, v-neck uh, so I decided to use uh, the yarn for that and I am really happy with how this turned out it is very, very prickly. Uh, I am mostly not bothered by it. I can tolerate tolerate it, but it does really prickle and yeah. Uh, and it is very warm. I think when I go into this year, I have to think about that uh, knitting with kids silk and mohair and, uh, and a yarn like that is it's beautiful but it is very warm <laughs> and i have a lot of sweaters in mower and i don't wear them too much because it's it's just too warm maybe that will be a theme throughout this episode i don't know <laughs> but i do love the color and i love this beautiful v-neck and um yeah how it looks uh, i I don't like that it stands up here. You can see that. Uh, it gets like this. Yeah. Just stands up. So I should have done something with the stitch count around the neck, but uh, I'm not going to do anything about it. Uh, I will just uh, use it like it is. Uh, and uh, it it has gotten a little bit to wear but not a whole lot but it has held up really well it's a little bit of peeling because drops flora is alpaca <laughs> but uh but it's not too bad and uh, yeah i think the fit is uh, great this is a real favorite this is the chunky dahlia by lenit leneholm samse uh, if you ask me which are my favorite sweaters or my five top sweaters <laughs> I ever knit, this is probably really high up there. Uh, I've knitted one uh, of these before in a mustard yellow color uh, in the size small. And this is extra small because although I really love the one, the yellow one, uh, it's just a tight too a tad too big yeah but this is perfect and i love everything about this sweater it's knitted in uh, viking alpaca breeze in the color light brown and in uh, drops kid silk uh, the color is uh, chocolate and uh, this is knitted on thick needles so it goes by really fast if you have been here uh, following my podcast for last year you know I had to go to the hospital last year to have an operation and uh, that was in the Oslo in our capital <laughs> and so that's about five hours on the train uh, to get there and when I sat down on the train I cast on this four days later it was done so it goes by so fast 
and uh, on those four, four days I also had this operation I had to be on post up and everything so so I didn't knit all the time uh, but um, yeah it's just goes by so fast and this lace uh, motif is so addicting and the pat pattern is uh, wonderful and uh, it's also one of my favorite sweaters to wear because it's just so comfy it's, it's so easy to just pull out of my wardrobe it goes with everything and uh, although it's kid silk in this it's not too warm probably because it is knitted on uh, thick needles and it's more airy than maybe sweaters with kid silk knitted on thinner needles because it's more compact or yeah so I I love this sweater I want to knit more I probably don't need more of them <laughs> but for gifts and uh, uh, I can highly highly recommend this pattern sometimes I get a sudden urge to use up scraps and I did that with this sweater <laughs> I had a lot of blown yarn like Sunnes Coos, uh, Drops Air, Viking Alpaca Breeze and I just wanted to use up my scraps of that yarn and I found a sweater called Poseidon on Filcolana um, a free pattern uh, it's designed by Charlotte K cool. and um, yeah I knitted the size one and it's just way too small for me it's so incredibly tight uh, <laughs> and there's no positive ease at all it's just still uh, negative ease I would say um, but I got to use up all my scraps uh, of that yarn and uh, that's a win and I think this will go on to someone else who can uh, use it hopefully this next one I'm sure you recognize it's the Curseweater by Crea Bea or Rebecca Klo uh, I really love this when she showed it in her podcast and showed that she was working on this design uh, and I was thinking about knitting it but I hadn't bought yarn or anything but then a Norwegian podcaster started a knit along and I just got that push to start uh, this sweater and I'm so happy that I did knit it because I this is a favorite uh, and I wear this a lot uh, this is knitted in drops soft um, weed in the color March band which is the light one and the color peppercorn in the color work and uh, I am so happy with my yarn choice this is just so soft and airy and uh, yeah it really feels like a hug to have it on and uh, this color work is just so so beautiful uh, and this I think is the sweater where I realized that maybe I'm not too bad at color work I can actually do it <laughs> uh, yeah I'm very happy with how it turned out it's a bit bunchy down here so I probably could have knitted with uh, a larger size uh, needles on the color work but all in all I'm very happy and I think the color work looks even although it's a little tight all in all I'm happy I don't really care about this bunching up so that's okay so this is uh, another win from uh, 2023 this is the sweater from last year that has the oldest color I can't I have can't find the right word uh, we have a, a word in Norwegian called knash knash color <laughs> uh yeah but anyway it's uh really pink yeah this is the slow down sweater from lily kate france and uh, i saw her version in this uh, really bright strong pink and i really wanted to have a similar sweater like her even though i'm not very into those strong colors but i just loved her version of the sweater and i decided to knit it in a summer yarn so i've knitted this in viking bamboo 
which is uh, a bamboo blended with something else that I can't remember. <laughs> uh, and um, we've also used mohair uh, in a, it's a drop skid silk, I believe. Yeah, in a pink color. And I think this is very airy and light. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a light sweater for the spring and um, and uh, summer because I live in Norway. <laughs> and uh, in the evenings and it can be, get a bit colder. So it's nice to have a sweater that's not too warm, but is uh, and have a long sleeves and yeah. And it is that uh, in all the ways it's perfect other than I don't like um, it's the stitch definition if I can say that. I think uh, maybe there is some places I've knitted more loosely and it's just I don't like it <laughs> at all. The sweater is great and I really like the decreases on the sleeves here. And I like this mohair edging and also on the v-neck and on the hem. I think that looks very nice, but I, I haven't used this a lot, but I really want to use it because even though I don't think it looks good with the stitches, I still like how it feels on and it is what I was intending that I wanted it to be light and airy for the spring and summer so I want to use it more so that's a goal for this spring but not right now because we have uh, a lot of snow uh, one and a half meters maybe I don't know <laughs> uh, we have a lot and it's ice freezing cold outside so this is not a sweater for the winter but I I am happy with it <laughs> ish <laughs> this is the sorrel sweater by wool and pine i knitted the um, summer top sorrel in 2022 i believe and i really love that summer top uh, so i wanted to knit the sweater version and um I got a advent calendar in 2022 from Through the World of Yarn Co. In, uh, and that was called In December We Wear Pink. It was a pink fade from very, very, very light pink <laughs> to dark pink. And I decided to knit the Sorel with that uh, advent together with Dale Tinkit Silk Arla in the colorway Powdered Pink. And what can I say? This is knitted with uh, in the size three, which looks like it fits me nicely, I think. But the trouble is the arms. It's too much fabric here, and I should have uh, taken off the arms earlier, I believe. But I just follow the pattern, and um, I should have tried it on and tried to start the sleeves earlier uh, I think when I look at myself in my monitor over there <laughs> I I think it looks okay um, I should have faded maybe differently I feel like it's very a lot of the light is here and yeah just a little bit the darker down here I think maybe I should have tried to fade in earlier with the darker colors but oh well it is what it is and I used the rest of the fade for something else that I will show you later I'm not too happy with my knitting either I feel it's very holy not holy <laughs> but it has this whole uh, and I, I don't feel like the other Sorel that I have, the tea, is um, is like this. Uh, I'm, I felt it was very different to knit this one. 
I'm not sure if it's a difference in the pattern or what it is, but I was just not too happy with how it turned out. Uh, like you can see that side, the structure, it's hard to show. Um, like very holes. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not sure about this one. I haven't used it a single time, I think. And uh, that's bad because I really like the yarn I've used, the colors I've used. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. It's it's not great when I'm going to have on a coat with all this fabric. It just bunches up like this under my coat, and that's not very comfortable. But I'm not sure. I feel it looks okay on me. I don't know. What do you think? Should I give it to someone else? Or should I start to wear it? I'm not sure. I won a skein of mohair uh, in a knit along last year uh, from a Norwegian hand dyer called Barbit. Uh, and uh, yarn was called the Beach Baby. <laughs> And uh, it was a lot of uh, meters on that skein, so I figured it would be enough for a uh, ranunculus by Midori Rose. Rose, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was. And I knitted it together with the Drops Kid Silk in the color Vanilla. And I knitted the size one and it's thick needles. So even though it's mohair, it's airy and light and not as warm, which is good. And I have just good things to say about the pattern. I love it like many of you out there do as well. And um, I love the color. Uh, I think it's so, so nice. And uh, I don't have anything special to say about it. I'm just so happy with how it turned out. And I have used this so, so much. And it's no pilling at all. And uh, yeah, I just love everything about it. One evening last fall, I was scrolling Instagram as one does. And uh, suddenly this sweater appeared in my feed. It's the Instant Crush by Hohe Locatelli and I was like, wow, what a beautiful sweater. I love the colors. I love the, the, the color work and uh, yeah, I immediately fell in love. It was Instant Crush. <laughs> but I was thinking, no, you don't need another sweater project. You have so many projects planned and yarn ready. But I just couldn't get this sweater out of my mind. I thought it was just so stunning. And I looked in my stash and I had some, some yarn for it, but I had to buy the rest. So I ended up doing so. Uh, I gave in. <laughs> and I'm so happy I did because I've used this sweater so, so much. I knitted the size four, but if you were here last fall and watched my episodes, you know I had to rip back because um, it just didn't fit me. And I didn't try it on until I had taken off stitches for the arms and knitted a lot of the body. So I had to rip back my hair, which is no fun, but I did it. <laughs> And I started to knit the size four, which fits me pretty good. Uh, and I used a different kind of uh, brands of mohair. I had uh, this uh, powder pink from Dale Finkits Arle in my stash. And I also had the North Sea color from Drops Kid Silk. Uh, and I had enough of those yarns, so I used those and I had to buy the rest. So the dark one, the rust color is from Sanes Gun, Sanes Tune Silk Mohair. And the orange one is from Viking, Viking Kid Silk. Uh, and uh, I enjoyed knitting this so much, even though I had to rip back. It was just a joy to knit. I had so much fun knitting this color work and uh, 
yeah and i love how it looks as i said i've used it a lot and uh, yeah uh, the only thing i don't like is that it gets this kind of puckering up here and it feels a bit too tight over my shoulder so i guess that's why it uh, just goes up here um so if i knit it again which i dream of doing i want to knit it in the size five but mostly i'm happy with it i i do drag it down like this a lot because it goes up <laughs> but it hasn't stopped me from wearing it a lot and yes it is kid silk and it is really warm but uh, i don't care because i love how it is and i love how it looks and <laughs> And uh, I just have to tackle the heat. So, yeah, very happy with uh, this uh, sweater. Last year, there was this uh, sweater that was really popular among Norwegian podcasters. Uh, it was a new pattern by Ben Kirual, which is a Norwegian designer. And it's this sweater called Vilfreda. And uh, it was called, uh, like, yeah the norwegian uh, ranunculus <laughs> uh, and uh, i understand why it has the same perfect fit like the ranunculus it's fast to knit it is, is on thick needles and uh, yeah it's just it's just in the same category as ranunculus and love note and uh, yeah and i also had to knit it of course I was thinking, no, I don't want to because everyone is knitting this sweater right now. But, you know, I, I, I suddenly just had to. <laughs> and I'm happy with this. I really love this as well. Uh, I knitted this with the rest uh, of the fade that I had from the advent from Through the Wardrobe Yarn, which was that pink fade. So you can see, I can find the other one. You can see that this is the start of the fade. And this is the rest. <laughs> so I got two sweaters out of uh, that advent yarn, which is uh, wonderful. Uh, and I knitted this together with the uh, Dalatin Kid Silk Erle in the powder pink color. And I felt that went really well together. And uh, yeah, this was very, uh, it wasn't fun to knit, but it wasn't hard. Uh, most of it was okay to knit, but but these um, crosses or what I cables, uh, there's one round that takes forever uh, to do, but that's the only only round that was uh, tricky and took a long time. The rest is very easy, so mostly fun, <laughs> but that one round was very yeah. You had to have some patience. But I, uh, when you go through, got through the uh, these cables and everything, it went fast. Uh, so I'm very happy with how it looks. Uh, and uh, I just have uh, three quarter sleeves. No, yeah, not all the way, <laughs> uh, which is good. Uh, so. Uh, and it's longer in the back with short rows and the fit is great i need to decide small it's a bit snug maybe but i don't mind it it's okay and as we are talking about the vilfreda let me just uh, change to the next one because could knit just one Wilfreda, of course. I had to knit another one, and this is the size medium. And you can see the different fit this has. This is more loose, and I really like this. I like this as well, but I love this more <laughs> only because it's looser and it feels better to have on. And I have longer sleeves on this one. Uh, this is knitted in a color from a Norwegian hand dyer called Unique Gan, and the color is called Fruktnut. Fruktnut. <laughs> Fruktnut is a Norwegian um, chocolate, which is very delicious. 
chocolate with raisins uh, and nuts in it uh, it's very good one of my favorites that's why i just had to have this colorway <laughs> i knitted it together with viking kid silk in the color white and this is just perfection i love this sweater uh, so so much uh, and again this cable one round was uh not fun to knit but the rest was great uh, yeah and i i really love the color and how it looks uh, it's so uh, easy to use and fits to fits with everything pants uh, jeans uh, dresses skirts everything so really 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 love this one i've had a knit along last year for uh, the patterns from Herb Garden Knitwear, Hannah Lübben. And the first uh, project I wanted to knit in my knit along was the Poise sweater. Ever since Hannah showed the sweater that she was designing, I just knew I had to knit it because it's just stunning. I love the color work. I love these, um, this structure here. And that's something that drew me into this sweater was the combination of structure and uh, color work and i thought her version was perfect so i didn't want to change anything <laughs> so that's why i knitted it in the same colors as, as uh, she did she used holst uh, super soft and i've never never tried that before so i was excited to try knitting with it and uh, I uh, this is the, the blue is it called space or something like that um, <laughs> the color and the color work is almond and I love the colors I love the sweater I knitted the size four I think if I'm not mistaken and um, I got uh, a tip from someone while I was knitting it that remember that whole super soft can shrink a bit in wash washing <laughs> and I forgot that yes that was not good because it it did shrink a bit in washing so it was a very nice fit before I washed it but after I washed it it got really tight and it's really tight up here over my shoulders and the arms are also quite tight so it's not very comfortable to have on which is really sad because I love this sweater so much but I still use it I use it very much uh, just because I love how it looks so who cares if it's not that comfortable <laughs> Uh, but I was excited to try knitting with Holst. I want to do that again. Uh, and I think Holst was very nice for color work. It's very forgiving. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with how my color work turned out. So I can't wait to knit more color work sweaters. I hope to do that in 2024. This next sweater is also from Herb Garden Knitwear. And it's the Bows of Holly sweater. I wanted this to be my Christmas sweater for 2023. Uh, again, it's the combination of structure and color work that really draw me in. And uh, I really, really love this sweater. It's uh, It was a lot of fun to knit because I, I have to say, <laughs> I really love to knit color work uh, and I hope to do that more. Uh, I've knitted this in Sonnes by Bull Lanette in the color Deep Petrol and Sonnes Sisu in this light green color. Uh, this was yarn that was on sale last summer so that's why it's uh, different types of yarn that I've used uh, because that's where I found the right colors that I wanted and I thought it was nice to to buy it on sale and get it a bit cheaper <laughs> but I'm happy with how it turned out I think the yarn 
yarn once was great to knit with and goes great together and it's really comfortable to wear i knitted the size um, medium i think yes medium uh, and again my gauge is a big issue and uh, trouble <laughs> and i could have knitted maybe a size up again because it is a bit tight uh, i don't think it looks too tight but it feels a bit tight and it's not very comfortable to have on but i still use it again because i love it and uh, i just have to learn how to understand my gauge and uh, knit the right sizes so that that i think maybe is a goal for 2024 i was watching a norwegian podcaster and she talked about knitting a red christmas sweater and i immediately I wanted to do the same. <laughs> I get so inspired by watching other people um, talk about their knitting and uh, yeah, I just had to have a red sweater. And I remembered that I had some scraps from another sweater that I knitted. Uh, it was some Dale Kid Silk Erle. Uh, it's a mohair yarn, a bit thicker mohair. And I had 69 grams left. And I did some research, uh, looking at the ranunculus, seeing how much uh, yarn other people had used for their <laughs> ranunculus. And I thought, okay, I can make this work. <laughs> so I used everything of that yarn. And I'm so happy that I was able to get another sweater with that yarn that was just scraps for an, from another sweater. And I just uh, knitted the body and then uh, I divided the yarn that I had left in two balls and knitted the sweater, uh, no, the sleeves as long as I could. And I just didn't decrease anything, just knitted it uh, straight down and did an eye cord edging. And I'm just so happy with how it looks. And uh, I've used it so much and uh, it's. Uh, very see-through but i don't really mind it you just have to have something under it <laughs> and uh yeah so that was uh fun to use up some scraps for a sweater We are getting near to the end. Uh, I hope this uh, hasn't been too fast or too slow or uh, yeah, I feel I've uh, talked a lot, uh, but uh, I have a dress and I have some cardigans that I would love to show you. And if you are still here, thank you so much. I appreciate that you want to hear me talk about all my knits because that's what I love to talk about. <laughs> Uh, but here is a dress that I knitted last year. It's the Summon Tunic by Mini Me Knit Design. And I, I'm not going to take it on, so maybe I'll put up a picture for you. But I really love this dress. Uh, it has uh, pockets, which I adore. Uh, a dress with a pocket is uh, perfect. And uh, this is knitted in sun is cool, so it's so soft and lovely to wear. And I've used it quite a bit. I want to use it more. Uh, I was inspired by Magda in uh, Magda Knits because she knitted this one and I just thought it looked wonderful. I highly recommend this dress and I want to knit more dresses this year because I think... Uh, it's just uh, perfect to have as a hug. <laughs> uh, and I love to wear dresses, so I want to have more knitted dresses in my wardrobe. Let's talk about cardigans. My uh, next or my first 
cardigan last year. I think it was the first I knitted last year. It's the Garti Cardi uh, by um, Anna Daku in the Bluebird box. I just have to find the right notes for this. Uh, this is uh, meant as a scrap project and I thought that was a lot of fun. I had a lot of scraps from hand dyed uh, yarn and uh, in the pattern Anna tells you uh, how you can uh, put your colors together and how to manage them and I got a lot of use out of that so I can highly recommend the pattern it's wonderful and I had so much fun knitting this putting the colors together and uh, I knitted uh, the size small I could have probably knitted maybe a size smaller than this uh, because again I have a lot of fabric here but with this one I don't really care I've uh, used it so much if you watch my vlogmas you saw this quite a lot I think because it's the cardigan that I put on every morning uh, because it's just so comfy and um, yeah I wear it all the time uh, it's my most worn garment from last year I think because I use it every day uh, and I love again its pockets and uh, I think this brioche neckband or button band it's not buttons here but so great on the arms so that was the only thing that was a bit difficult to do with this pattern was the the neckband or this band uh, that's the only thing that I had some issues with not because of the pattern it's very good um, very well explained but it's just uh, it's a bit uh, difficult to to do I think <laughs> and if you make a mistake you I have trouble uh, correcting it without tripping back everything so but it was worth it. I think it looks great uh, and it was a fun construction. And um, can I show you here, line here? Yeah, so it's mostly garter, which is wonderful, but on the arms it's stocking. And uh, yeah, I'm just so happy with it. I used up so much on my scraps. The only thing that was uh, new scale was this black yarn but everything else is wrapped. so can highly 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 recommend this pattern i love this cardigan so so much the next cardigan i knitted was the corn cardigan by rebecca clau the crea bea uh, and I had some yarn in my stash that I bought on sale several years ago. Uh, it was Drops Bummel Lean, a cotton and uh, linen blend. Uh, I bought it on sale because I really wanted to try it out as a summer yarn. <laughs> and I bought, I think I had 10 balls of yarn and the only yarn or the only color they had was black. So that was what I bought. <laughs> Uh, and it's just been in my stash for years and then this uh, corn cardigan came and I decided I wanted to try and use it for the cardigan. I hated to knit with drops pomeline. I will never use it again. I It was so splitty, it was tough on my hands and no, I'm never going to use that yarn again. <laughs> but it turned out really good. Uh, I think it looks nice. I was inspired by um, the, an Italian knitter again. Uh, she knitted a long version and I had a lot of yarn so I did the same. Uh, and I knitted the size small because I intended it for just to be open and so I don't have any buttons. 
and I like the corn cardigan pattern. It's very easy to memorize and it looks very complicated, but it's not at all. Uh, but I got really bored knitting it. Uh, I'm not sure if I was bored with this one the first time I knitted it, but I knitted another one and um, it went really slow because I got bored. <laughs> But I really like the corn cardigan and how it looks. So, and it's easy to memorize, as I say. So, the pattern is great. It's just me who was bored. But uh, I haven't used it. I thought this could be like uh, something that I put over when I'm on the beach. And yeah, but I forgot that I am not a beach person. I'm never on the beach, so I don't know what, what I was thinking. Maybe I like the idea of being on the beach, but I don't really like to be on the beach. So I have never used this, but I think it's very nice. I like how it looks, but I have to see if it will be used this summer or if I gift it to someone else. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay. Uh, the next one, I can show the next corn cardigan. It wasn't the next cardigan I knitted, but since we're talking about it, this one. And uh, I wanted to knit a corn cardigan, uh, a short one. No the one that or how it was intended <laughs> so i knitted the size uh, three because i wanted to be able to close it uh, or button it up but um yeah what can one say i knitted the uh, round neck uh, on this one you can choose the v-neck this is the v-neck i believe on this one but this is the round neck i knitted uh, with sunnes tune lina uh, in the color brown which i really like uh, i used two strands of yarn together and uh, i got bored knitting this <laughs> but i think it looks pretty nice i don't like how i picked up my stitches that's uh, I don't think that looks too good and I regret that I didn't knit a v-neck instead of the round one. I don't really understand the point in this button up here and um, I don't know. This doesn't look too good uh, and I can't. It's, it's too tight for me. I should have knitted uh, one or two sizes up I think because I wanted to be able to to close it but that doesn't look good and as you see it just pops up so yeah I think I will give this one I really want the current card again because I think it looks great uh, but I think I want to knit the size bigger and I want to maybe try some cotton yarn instead of the linen um yeah i don't know i can of course use it and only have it open but i i don't love this one <laughs> but i want the corn cardigan so i hope maybe i will be able to knit one this year another one we'll see but again a great great easy pattern to knit and now i can't get my button up <laughs> yeah so highly recommend the pattern just make sure you knit the right size the last garment i want to talk about today is the girlfriend's cardigan by anke strick uh, and it's another favorite uh, this pattern I got as a gift from a knitting friend and I uh, really enjoyed knitting this uh, 
and I love the finished garment so so much. Uh, I knitted the size uh, small which is actually perfect for once. <laughs> uh, it really is uh, the perfect size for me. And uh, I knitted in Drops Flora and Dalek Tim Kids Silk Erle, uh, both in grey. But uh, da the Kids Silk is a lighter grey, so it gets this uh, marled effect, which I love so much. And it's a garter stitch, so. Um, uh, it is very easy to knit back and forth when uh, when you knit the cardigan, which, uh, yeah, on the arms, it's, uh, it's also garter stitch, so that's a bit more fiddly because garter in the round is not much fun. <laughs> But I do love the construction of this. It's like a drop shoulder and uh, you start with um, casting on an eye cord and then knit out from this eye cord, which was really interesting. Uh, I've never done that before and I really enjoyed that uh, construction. Uh, yeah, so it didn't all make sense to me in the beginning, but when you get to knit on it, you really see how it uh, shapes and forms and it's uh yeah i really really enjoy how it turned out and i think it has this nice detail on the arm yeah. so this is also a great pattern and a favorite in my wardrobe which i've used very much it's very pilly so uh, again it's alpaca oh i think maybe that's why it's a lot of feeling but i don't mind still love it so much so it's been a lot of favorites from last year but also some fails and some that i like but i don't like the fit of um so yeah but there was a lot of new garments in my wardrobe last year <laughs> so i have to keep that in mind when i plan 2024 i hope you will join me for a uh, planning episode uh, later on where I talk about my plans and intentions for my knitting in 2024. Uh, before that I want to make an a episode about my summer knits from 2023 so I hope you want to join me for that as well. I hope this has been a bit interesting. I I don't know if I shared too much or too little <laughs> uh, about the garments, but I hope that you got inspired and um, I really appreciate that you are here and want to listen about me talk about my knitting because I love to talk about my knitting. <laughs> so I appreciate that you are here. Thank you so much. I wish you all a beautiful week. Um, we are still in the first week. Uh, of uh, the new year so i hope that it's been a good one for you and uh, i will talk to you in the next one bye guys